morning children today in this video we are going to learn how to find the different factors of a given number so we are going to do this with the help of an activity and without any wasting any time let us go to the activity okay children so these are few buttons which i could collect from my house now i'm going to pick up 12 of them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so children with these 12 buttons i am going to make rectangles different rectangles i am going to make let us see what are the different rectangles i can make with these 12 buttons okay let me arrange first of all all the buttons in one single row and that will be a rectangle Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So this rectangle is one row of twelve buttons. So one multiplied by twelve. This is one rectangle. Okay. Now I am going to make two rows out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll make two rows out of it. Okay. Now, children, it is in the rectangular form. It is in a rectangle. This rectangle, the length has one, two, three, four, five, six, six button. buttons and the breadth has two buttons so 6 twoza is 12 6 twoza is 12 so 12 buttons have made the rectangle like this so this is the second type of rectangle okay now i'll make up another type of rectangle where i will have four buttons arranged in three rows see 1 2 3 4 four buttons arranged in three rows 1 2 3 so 4 threes are 4 threes are is 12 so children i could make three types of rectangles with 12 buttons the first rectangle was one row of 12 buttons the second rectangle was six buttons in two rows so six twos are is 12 and the third rectangle has four buttons in three rows four threes are 12 so the numbers in whose table 12 comes are 1 and 12 1 12 are 12 2 and 6 2 6 are 12 Three and four, three fours are twelve. Okay. Now I'm going to take more buttons and show the same thing to you. So children, now I have taken twenty buttons. Let us count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. They have been arranged in one row. So twenty buttons have been arranged in one row. One twenties are twenty, and twenty ones are twenty. Now these buttons I will arrange in two rows. Let us see.
Okay, let me make it a proper rectangle so that Okay, somewhat it is looking like a rectangle. I hope, yes. So children, now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 buttons of 2 rows. 1 row and 2nd row. 10 2's are 20 and 2 10's are 20. So this is how I have made one more rectangle of 20 buttons. Now, I am going to arrange them in four rows. Okay, children. I hope now they have been arranged nicely. Now, see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 buttons have been arranged in one row. And how many rows are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 5 buttons of 4 rows each. 5 fours are is 20. So, children, you can also see sun is coming and going, right? The weather is very nice. So, 5 fours are is 20 and 4 fives are is 20. So I arranged 20 buttons in different triangles. The first one was one row of 20 buttons. So one 20 is 20. Now two rows of 10 buttons each. Two 10s are 20 and 10 2s are 20. Then four rows of five buttons each. Four 5s are 20 and five 4s are 20. So children, I am going to explain all these things to you further with the help of a PowerPoint presentation. Let's go to the PowerPoint presentation. After doing the activity, let us find the factors of all the numbers starting from 1. How we are going to do? We will see in which table the given number comes. Now 1. We have to see in which table 1 comes. So children, 1 comes in only one table and that is the table of 1 itself. 1, 1's are 1. So children, 1 is a unique number. You know why it is a unique number, beta? Because 1 comes in only one table. Okay, let's move further. The next number is 2. It comes in two tables. In the table of 1 as well as in the table of 2. 1, 2's are 2 and 2, 1's are 2. So children, there are two factors of 2, 1 and 2. Two factors are there of 2. Why two factors are there? Because there are two numbers in whose table 2 comes as an answer. So 1 and 2 are those two numbers. Now 3. 3 also comes in only two tables. Which two tables are there? 3 comes in the table of 1 and in the table of 3. 1, 3's are 3 and 3, 1's are 3. So children, again, 3 has only two factors, 1 and 3 itself. Okay, now 4. 1, 4's are 4 and 2, 2's are 4. So dear children, 4 has three factors, 1, 2 and 4. You know why? Because in these three tables, 4 comes as an answer. Okay. Now we come to 5. 1 5's are 5 and 5 1's are 5. So even 5 
has got only two factors 1 and 5 itself okay 6 now let us see in which all table 6 comes 1 6 6 and 6 ones are 6 2 3 are 6 and 3 2 are 6 so children 6 has four factors 1 2 3 and 6 so 6 has four factors okay let's look at the next number 7 now 7 One seven za seven and seven one za seven. So again, seven is also a number which comes in only two tables: in the table of one and in the table of seven itself. Okay. Now next number is eight. Let us see in which all tables eight comes. One eight za eight. And eight ones are eight. Two, the table of two. Two fours are eight. Four twos are eight. So children, the factors of eight are one, two, four, and eight. Okay. Now children, there is one thing which you should make note of, and that is. the numbers 2 3 5 and 7 in this slide have only two factors and those factors are 1 and the number itself okay let us look at some more numbers and find their factor next number is 9 now children 9 comes in the table of 1 and 9 1 9 is 9 9 1 9 okay 9 does not come in the table of 2 it does, it comes in the table of 3 now 3 3 is 9 so children The factors of nine are one, three, and nine. Let's come to ten. Now ten comes in the table of one. Actually, all the numbers come in the table of one, beta. All the numbers in this world come in the table of one. You know why? Because one one is a one, one two is a two, one three is a three, one four is a four, one five is a five, one six is a six, one seven is a seven, one eight is a eight, and so on. Okay, let us see in which numbers table ten comes. So one ten is a ten, and ten one is a ten. It also comes in the table of two and five. Two fives are ten, and five twos are ten. Okay, so the factors of ten are one, two, five, and ten. Okay, let's come to the next number, which is eleven. Again, children, eleven is a number which comes in only two tables. One. And eleven, one eleven za eleven, eleven one za eleven. Now the next number is twelve. One twelve za twelve, twelve one za twelve. So one and twelve are the factors of twelve. It also comes in the table of two and six. Two six za twelve, six two za twelve. It also comes in the table of three and four. Three fours are twelve. Four threes are twelve. So the factors of twelve are one, two, three, four, six, 
and twelve. Again, children, thirteen is again a number which comes in only two tables, one and itself. One thirteen za thirteen, thirteen one za thirteen. So one and thirteen are the factors of thirteen. Now fourteen. One fourteen za fourteen and fourteen one za fourteen. So one and fourteen are the factors of fourteen. Two seven za fourteen. Seven two za fourteen. So two and seven are also the factors of fourteen. So the factors of fourteen are one, two, seven, and fourteen. Fifteen. One fifteen za fifteen and fifteen one za fifteen. So one and fifteen are the factors of fifteen. Three five za fifteen and five three za fifteen. So children, the factors of fifteen are one, three, five, and fifteen. So many factors, four factors. Hmm. Let's come to sixteen. One sixteen za sixteen and sixteen one za sixteen. So one and sixteen both are the factors of sixteen. Now two eight za sixteen and eight two za sixteen. So two and eight both are the factors of sixteen. Four four za sixteen. So children, the factors of sixteen are one, two, four, eight, and sixteen. Okay, children. In all these numbers, please note one thing, and that is, one is the factor of every number. Every number. The first factor of every number is one. and children the last factor of every number is the number itself please see i am moving my cursor on the last factor of every number and you will see that the biggest factor of every number is the number itself okay children that's all for today thank you and have a great day